Hi everyone, Letty here. Today we're gonna do another as many as video where we make as many cards and a journal from one 12 by 12 paper pack. The goal is to use up the entire pack. I'm using A Cozy Christmas by Echo Park. So here's what comes in this 12 by 12 paper pack. Again, it's A Cozy Christmas by Echo Park and it does have 12 double-sided 12 by 12 papers. There's three sheets of cut aparts and then nine regular sheets. And one of the regular sheets um, has strips, but I'm gonna go ahead and treat it as a regular sheet. And you'll see later on in the video when I make that decision. It's a really, really pretty collection. It has some darker colors, but it actually is really pretty. And I don't think my camera is doing it justice here because it actually is a little prettier than what you're seeing through the camera. Super cute. And for some reason, I have two sticker sheets, so I'm not sure if it came that way or if I accidentally, I mean, if I actually purchased a second sheet and stuck it in the 12 by 12 pack, which I have done in the past. Either way, I'm only gonna end up using one. Um, I also took out the four by six stamps, the puffy stickers and the chipboard accents from this same collection, A Cozy Christmas. And then I also took out this Lewis Family Vacation uh, paper pad, 12 by 12 paper pad from Hobby Lobby. It was on clearance. And these are uh, single sided sheets and they are paperweight paper. And I'm gonna end up using 10 of those sheets. You can use as many as you want though. Um, so the first step that I'm doing is I'm just separating all of my cut aparts from my normal papers. And I have mentioned this in the past, I have this problem where I have to use cut aparts as cut aparts. Um, and so that's where some of those cards are gonna come from. And then I do end up using this, the stripe sheet or the, the one with the stripes on it as, uh, or rows as a regular sheet. So it leaves me with nine full sheets, including the one with the strips. And first thing I'm gonna do is just trim off that branding strip. And then I'm gonna cut at five and a quarter, which is my standard A2 mat. Um, and you can do it from the top or the bottom, either way. Uh, and then you're gonna go ahead and cut down that five and a quarter into three sections of four inches each. So your final uh, piece will be the mats for your cards. And then you're just gonna repeat the same process on the remaining you know, full sheets of, of, of cardstock, double-sided paper you're gonna be using. So again, you're gonna cut off five and a quarter um, and you'll have your, your mat, your A2 size mat. And then it'll leave you with your journal papers, which are six and three quarters by 12 inches. Um, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is decide on which of the papers you want as your cover. And these are the double-sided papers from the collection. I went ahead and went with this first one. First we're gonna do is uh, score some pockets now you actually get to decide which side of pocket you want either a left or a right side um, because the scoring is slightly different obviously if you're going to have the pocket on the left or on the right then once you score just go ahead and, and uh, crease and fold or fold and crease those edges so your journal pages will actually be five inches by six and three quarters um, then you're gonna go ahead and just score the remaining sheet. So here I'm giving you the measurements. If you're doing a left-sided pocket, you're gonna score at two inches and seven inches on the 12 inch side. If you're doing a right-sided pocket, you're gonna score at five inches and 10 inches also on the 12 inch side. And then you're just gonna to wanna to mix and match as you go through your journal. So you, I would recommend doing some on the left, some on the right, um, unless you have a preference to do all on one of the sides. But I'm actually mixing and matching in here. And again, here are the dimensions again of where to score. So basically what we're doing is we are gonna be using the double-sided pages to have our pockets, and then we're gonna trim down this single-sided paper to act as a filler. So you're gonna cut this down to six and three quarters by 10 inches, just like that. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut all of my single-sided sheets, then I'm gonna fold them in half. And these, again, will be my added filler to go in between the thicker double-sided paper. So let's go ahead and start by using a circle punch, and I'm using a two and a half inch circle to do a notch 
for my pocket and this is optional you don't have to i have just gotten in the habit of doing this i went ahead and bought some of that barely art glue i'm going to go ahead and try it out started with this video um, and you're going to use any type of wet glue to go ahead and glue down that pocket you see there where it actually forms a pocket so you're going to notch first and then glue down it is so much easier to do your notch uh, or add a notch to a pocket if you add the notch before you glue and you see how i'm only gluing on the two um the top and the bottom section until you get to that fold or that score line you're going to go ahead and just do those two areas so here i'm just notching out and gluing the remaining pockets from the double-sided papers this actually is a really really simple journal super basic super quick super easy just how i like my projects um, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my single sided paper and I am going to turn some inside out because I do want some of the patterns to be on the inside. Then you're just going to layer them. So I'm layering a, a double sided sheet and then a, a single sided sheet and then a double sided and I just keep adding those layers until I get, I get to the cover basically. So you layer them out. Now I am going to use a long arm stapler for this because I have to staple uh, to five inches in so if your regular stapler stapler can do five inches then definitely use yours but if not you might need a long arm for that um, and then the teeth should be right in the inside of the book of the journal so you're going to gently fold and crease along that spine just very very gently and it's okay if the edge of your book is not super even you're going to see later that we're going to add some trim to some of the sides and it'll actually cover some of that so it also helps if you open the pages and just kind of fold down gently to try to help kind of add that crease just a little bit more and reinforce it. So now our journal is ready to be decorated. So the next thing I'm gonna do is cut up all of the cut aparts. And so the cut aparts are gonna be twofold. We're gonna use them to decorate the journal itself and we're also gonna use them to do the actual cards or as like focal points on the cards. And again, I have this problem where I have to use cut aparts as cut aparts. So I'm going to be, the majority of them will go towards the cards. Some of these bigger cut aparts, like these four by fours and then the four by sixes, are actually just going to go into the journal. So the next thing I'm doing is I'm deciding on which cut apart I want for my cover because I don't want to accidentally use the one that I want for the cover on one of the cards. So once I decide, I'm going to go ahead and just glue everything down. And you do see here that I'm using one of my card mats, which was that four by five and a quarter inch paper. I'm going to use one as a like a initial layering card mat, and then I'm going to add a smaller cut apart, which was my three by four cut apart. And then I'm going to just start la layering stickers on it. And I sort of go out of frame. I apologize for that. And then I kind of come a little bit closer in. So I'm just layering stickers. You can layer as much as you want or as little as you want. You can also add dimension. I'm gonna to try to keep mine flat because the book is very wide as it is. So now my front cover is finished. You can see you have tons of pages, super chunky. So next we're gonna go ahead and have, use the remaining um, cut aparts to do the cards and to finish up that journal. I went ahead and did the cards off camera. I ended up with 26 cards and then my remaining cut aparts will go into my journal. So you'll see we have no paper left behind after this. Um, I ended up using my Dollar Tree jemmies and I, I usually, uh, I think I hauled them on a recent haul video, these and some green ones. I'm using the red ones as berries or just red decorations you'll see here i just add them sporadically generally in sets of three or some type of odd number for whatever reason odd numbers tend to look better um, at least in my opinion i did use a holly leaf die that, from sizzix which i'm showing you here um, just to add some additional embellishment and then i did also use the stamp one of the stamps i think it says like tidings uh, of comfort and joy and that was from the actual A Cozy Christmas Collection by Echo Park. So I, I got fortunate that I found that stamp in one of my recent uh, warehouse hauls that I did online from Echo Park. And I found the matching one. I went ahead and took it out and I ended up using it. So these are all of the different cards. 
that I ended up with. So 26 cards total. Now, I did have some additional cut aparts left over. We are actually going to add them in. Notice that I added white palm trim to some of the sides. This was just to help kind of cover the fact that some of them were a little bit uneven. I got this white palm trim at Target Dollar Spot. I don't know if it was this year or last year. It was during their Valentine's Day sales or during Valentine's Day. So you can add as many, you know, trim on as many pages as you want. I just added a few. And then I did end up gluing and covering up right in the middle of the book just to help protect the staples so that way they're not exposed. So now let's go ahead and add in the remaining cut aparts into the journal. So this journal is actually a great um, foundation book for if you want to do a December daily. I was on uh, Christian's Crafty Adventures. I was on her live last night and the group was talking about setting up a like a foundation for December daily to kind of help them along. Um, and I had been thinking about doing something like this. So I thought this would be a perfect um uh, project to do uh, for December daily just to have it kind of prepped in advance so now I'm just using up the final remaining stickers for um, it, it, I'm adding them into the book into the journal and you can see I've already used up all of the paper because I added the last bits of cut aparts into the journal and it's just a matter of finishing up these stickers I was also inspired recently by um, Sarah, who is uh, crafting and relaxing. I watched one of her recent videos where she was just picking out papers to use as journal covers. And that's kind of what got me thinking about doing this size or this journal uh, with the combination of cards. Uh, and it was when she was talking about adding pockets and things like that to her journals. Um, so I'll link her channel as well as Christian's channel down below. So that way you can um, kind of get inspired as well by both of these ladies. So the stickers are running out. I'm just adding the last few to the last few pages here. So that is it. All the stickers have been used. So all of the paper was used. All the stickers were used. I had just the very little scrap from where I notched out on the pockets of the paper. And that was it. Everything else was used. Again, this was Echo Park's A Cozy Christmas. And again, we did as many cards and one journal as we could get from one 12 by 12 paper pack. Thanks for visiting. Hope you subscribe, like this video and follow me on Instagram. Thanks, everybody. Bye bye.